Hi, this is a video that a few people have requested after seeing my Project Brutality and Doom 2 playthrough videos. So, um, all these links here for everything I'm using is going to be in the video description and are all free to download. The only thing you're going to need is the WAD files from the original games to play this. So, firstly, we have the Project Brutality mod and you just click code and download zip secondly we have the maps of chaos download which you just download here then you need your uh, ZDoom engine and just pick your OS and download from here these are the HD texture packs I used and you just download here and this is the optional uh, Cats Visor HUD alternative which you can download from here and finally this is Doom Runner which is the app we're going to use to just put everything together and run the game so once you've downloaded all of these files you want to go to your um, your game directory so mine are in Steam so just go to your Steam directory your Steam apps, your common files, and you'll find your games in here. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to set everything up in my Doom 2 folder. So, let's make a new folder here and copy all of this in. And I'm just going to make a folder for the maps and the mods and lastly the what files we're going to be using uh, these are located in your game base directories so if we go here here's the what file and we just need a copy and that's all we need Then I uh, just need to extract some of these files. So the texture pack, you just need this WAD file. And let's stick that in the mods folder. Cat's visor, we are just going to take all of these and stick them in the mods folder and maps of chaos we are going to extract these into the maps folder and the project brutality one can remain a zipped file and just go in the mods folder so next you want to um, just extract a GZ Doom and I tend to just extract it to its own folder and then the same with Doom Runner so if we go to our Doom Runner folder and you can just create a shortcut and put it on your desktop for later and then we need to run this and do the initial setup so first you need your game engine which is the GZ, GZ Doom then you need your maps directory and then you need your mod directory And finally, your um, iWatch directory, and we just want to auto update and pick the folder. And then just click done. And you just want to double check under more options that multiplayer is not selected. 
So just deselect that. Now um, with Maps Chaos there's three versions standard, hardcore and overkill. Uh, on the videos I was just using the hardcore version and then we need to add in the mo mods we're going to use from the mod directory. So we select all of these. You'll have a good think about it because of the zipped project vitality file. There we go. Now it is important if you're going to use Cat's Visor that these have to be in a certain order. So it has to be the last thing that loads and you just need the base and dynamic files so we can deselect that one. I have seen with testing this that the most recent version of Project Brutality loses some functionality on the Cat's HUD visor. Most of it works fine, but Project Brutality also has its own uh, HUD that you can adjust and use, so it's down to, down to your own preference. So now we're ready to launch the game. And there are some controls you need to just configure before you play for the first time. And the Cat's Visor HUD also has a number of options you can toggle all various parts of it on and off. So firstly, Cat's Visor is all the overlay display options. And then for the controls, you want to make sure you have these wheels set and your reload weapon. So the problem I've noticed with the new version is not all the weapons display the ammo counts anymore, but everything else looks to work fine still. Visor option, and now I'll just show you quickly the standard Project Brutality one. So we just turn these off, launch it again. So you'll see from here everything displays correctly and if we go to Project Brutality HUD settings you <coughs> can adjust everything uh, on the HUD and the brightness. So you see, turn the corners off, turn the glass off and just adjust it to whatever suits, suits you best. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I believe it works with the original Doom and Final Doom as well. You just get those WOD files and put them in that um, WOD directory and then they'll become options on the list here. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, any 
questions, any issues, just stick a comment and um, I'll get back to you when I can. Cheers.